Hey, Clara. <laughs> if you found yourself another boyfriend, you have to tell me that right away. We've been good friends ever since the two of us were little babies, right? <laughs> and that's the whole reason why I won't tell you. Do you even know how many of my partners you've come and stolen from me now over the past 12 to 15 years? Ever since middle school, the moment you found out I made a boyfriend, you'd stab me in the back and steal him away from me. Well, you can relax now, because I no longer plan to steal any more of your guys from you. Because soon, I'm going to be getting married. Huh? You're getting married, Bailey? And not just that. The man I'll be marrying is the oldest son of a CEO. I'll be marrying the son of a very famous company, Green Holmes' CEO. Wow. So in other words, you'll be marrying into a really high-class family. And the kind of family where you'll pretty much be set for life, right? I believe so, Clara. His dad is also really happy that I'm coming, and I'm happy that I've won the lottery with that family. My life is perfect right now. It's really amazing for you, Bailey, and congrats on the marriage. I may not have many fond memories of you, thanks to you, but this is still something to celebrate about. Thank you. So now that you know how things are going with me, can you tell me a little bit about your guy? What kind of company is he working for, and what does he have to offer you? Oh, wait, someone like you probably can't find a man that has anything to offer. Unlike me, you're just a little bit too ugly and can barely understand the meaning of the word cute, right? Huh? The last man I was with was just the same as you in every way. Actually, every man you've ever been with has had nothing good about them. And it's clear why they were all dating you in the first place. Weird that you say that when you went out of your way to steal all of them from me. So don't forget that means all your ex-boyfriends were also just as bad as mine. Huh? <laughs> I never meant anything serious with any of those men back in the day. I never took a single one of them from you because I actually had good feelings towards them. I just decided to steal them because I found you a complete mess back then. <laughs> What? Are you serious? Of course I am. There's no way a natural beauty like me would find any form of connection with any of those gross men from back then. If the person I'm with isn't on my level or better, then I'll never be able to find a way to love them. So then what was your reason for backstabbing me so many times back then? You must just like the toxic idea of being a total prick and that's why you did it? I already told you, right? I did it because you were, and still are, gross. Unlike your gorgeous good friend, you are an ugly mutt. And back then, an ugly mutt like you getting a boyfriend before a beauty like me was unacceptable. You're kidding, right? That's the reason for stealing all those guys from me back then? I have always been looking for a man to fill my requirements that I could love. A man with a lot of money, who's both tall and handsome, and kind enough to spoil me to anything and everything I desire is the kind of man I'd been looking for. But a man of that level never seemed to appear in front of me for some time. Yet while I was struggling to find my man, you kept finding all kinds of guys to go out with. Seeing some gross loser being happy with all those men was disgusting, and that's why I stole them from you. What you're saying right now is just insane, Bailey. First of all, how would you ever find such a high-level man like that when everyone around us were all students still? That was pretty childish of me to think back then, wasn't it? But after all these years, I found my man. He and I have decided on marriage now, so whoever you date now has nothing to do with me. I'm not going to do something selfish like steal them from you anymore so you can relax. All right, I'll try my best to relax around you then. I can finally say that those days of losing my boyfriends to you are completely gone. Well, to be fair, I'd never actually want any more of your gross boyfriends around me. So now, have a great one with that nasty man of yours. I'm going to be preparing for a life of wonder and excitement with my handsome and wealthy man. Clara. Know that I'm never going to turn my back on you for any other woman, okay? Today I met with their best friend from back in the day, but she is in no way my type of woman, okay? What? You had told me about her a little before, right? You had a friend that was really good looking, and that anytime you got a boyfriend, she'd come and steal them from you. 
but you really don't have to worry about me. No matter how any woman tries to get me to be with them, I'm not going to stagger and will always be by your side. I cannot be fooled by any of them, so please don't worry about me. Thank you, Lance. I'm sorry if I've been worrying a lot about things lately. No, I'm your boyfriend after all, so it's my job to make sure you feel comfortable and can trust me. Once I finish up some of my work here, I'll be going right back home. I won't even give anyone the chance to go out drinking with me and trying to steal me from you. And to make sure of that, let's make sure to call and text every day. Doing that should give you a bit of relief, right? I'm so thankful that you're thinking so much about me. But you don't have to do all that now. Bailey told me that this time she's getting married to the man of her dreams. And so she told me she won't be coming to steal you from me anymore. Huh. Is that so? Well, she told me that from the start, the only reason she'd go through all the trouble of stealing my boyfriends was because she could never find a man that she wanted. But now that she does have the man of her dreams and plans to marry him, I should be safe from her. Are you telling me that that was her reason for hurting you so much back then? Something like that is totally screwed up and pisses me off. But I'm glad it all should be over. I guess we really don't have to worry anymore now, right? At the moment, after talking to her a little bit ago, it seems the only thing on her mind is getting money from the guy. So I don't even think I'll ever have to talk with her again from now on. Well, people changing a lot after marriage is pretty common. So she might just end up forgetting about you after. But that sounds like the perfect thing to me. Having one of the main problems in your life vanish will make me so happy. That's right. She's always been the best looking at the class ever since we were little, and so it's natural for her to find a man that fits her character. And apparently he's the son of a CEO, and he works for that huge company, Green Homes, with Bailey's dad also working there. Huh? Her dream man is at Green Homes? Is that what your friend told you today? That's right. She seemed very confident in herself when she bragged to me about it. And apparently her dad has also been a pretty big man in the company. I think still works there to this day. I remember her always talking about him when we were younger, so I believe they're all at Green Homes. But that's a bit strange. I've not heard anything about that sort of stuff. Huh? I'm sorry to ask this, but can you explain what's going on in a bit more detail, please? That marriage that your friend will be having, I think I might have more to do with it than I first thought. I'm not sure I get what you're saying, but okay. We can talk more about this in detail the next time we meet, okay? Clara! I'm sure that the invitation to my gorgeous wedding has arrived at your place, right? Yeah, the invitation that's all sparkly and covered in golds and silvers. I have never seen an invitation this gaudy before. <laughs> well, this is the wedding to the man of my dreams, so I had to make sure everything, and I mean everything, looks like lots of money. Just know that that's the least flashy thing about this wedding, okay? The wedding itself is going to be out of this world with expensive foods and drinks and all sorts of golden decorations. I guess the wedding of someone as elite as your fiancé has to be on a completely different level compared to everyone else's. I can even see that the place of the wedding is going to be at that very fancy and well-regarded church. I'm sure that everyone in the area will be made aware of a wedding like your guys's. So you should be thankful that I thought of inviting you to a wedding like this. You are my good friend, after all, so that's my reason for inviting you. If it wasn't for you being a good old friend of mine, I'd never invite some ugly mutt to my wedding. Ah, is that so? Well, I guess I am thankful that you thought of me. I think I'll be required to go to your wedding now. Well, if that's the case, make sure to RSVP as soon as possible. Ah, and the other thing is that the cost to get in is no less than a thousand dollars. You're my good friend, after all, so I'm sure you don't want to embarrass me, right? Huh? You want me to pay at least a thousand dollars to get in? Can't I just give you a well-thought-out present or something else? No, it's the money or no entry. And that shouldn't be a problem. I went out of my way to invite you to such a gorgeous wedding, after all. And to be able to afford such a wedding, we ask that all our guests pay up at least a little to be here. Uh, seriously? But because of that price, I'll make sure to give you all a wedding to remember. 
I'll make sure that the wedding hall is filled with all the finest flowers and decorations. And the food will be prepared by a three-star Michelin chef. <laughs> and my fiancé said he'll have a lot of his friends coming to the wedding as well. So that has to mean a lot of other well-off young men and celebrities will be there. So paying $1,000 for something as amazing as the wedding should be an easy payment to make, right? <laughs> and that really is amazing. I never thought there could be a wedding as spectacular as you're making yours sound. Well, this is for the son of a large company CEO, so of course the wedding has to be outstanding and expensive. So make sure to help support us with that thousand dollar entry fee. At least this one time you won't be some gross woman, but rather my good friend from way back. So I expect at least a thousand dollars from you on the day of the wedding. I'm looking forward to the day of your wedding. And you cannot cancel before the wedding after already RSVPing, okay? So don't make any excuses like not having the money before my wedding, okay? If you in any way cause me some kind of embarrassment, I will never be able to forgive you. I'm not going to cancel on you, so don't worry about it. This kind of wedding is going to be crazy with the amount of laughter coming from it, so I can't miss it. So don't feel as though I'd want to miss a single second of it. Huh? What do you mean this wedding is going to be crazy with laughter? I'm not trying to make some joke out of this wedding, Clara. No, 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 don't worry about that. Now, I look forward to seeing you on the day of your wedding. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this huge wedding with the man of your dreams will turn out for you. Oh, wait, what the hell is going on here? What do you mean that my fiancé isn't the man of my dreams and isn't the next CEO of that company? Why is he just the son of some small contracting firm? Why do I have to marry some loser like him now? Now, calm down just a little, Bailey. You chose to get married to him in the first place, right? I heard that he was the son of a very large and well-off company, and that's why I wanted to get married to him. My dad told me that I'd be getting to marry the son of the CEO. And when I was going out to meet him for the first time, he was my type of guy and everything. And that's why I chose to marry him, but now I'm being told he's just the son of some contracting company CEO? This is the first time I'm ever hearing about this. Can you please calm down just a bit more? Your dad wasn't messing with you or anything when he showed your fiancé to you. The man you are with just happened to have a lot of failures within the same company that your dad's at and was moved back to his father's smaller contracting company. That's all, Bailey. You, for some reason, just chose to think that he was the son of the CEO of Green Homes and not for one of the contracting groups there. I... I didn't even know something like that had happened within the company that my dad's in. My dad never told me anything about that sort of thing besides introducing me to the guy. Well, maybe that's because your dad is just like you, and his pride is just far too huge to handle. He just wanted to make himself look good to everyone else by bragging that you'd be marrying the son of the CEO at Greenholz. So I can see why he'd never tell you the truth about your man. And, I mean, you're his cute baby girl, so he didn't want to hurt your feelings. I assumed that by being able to marry the man of my dreams, he'd be able to promote my dad and everything there. I just wanted everyone in my life to turn out happy from this marriage. Well, I think your dad is still happy with things, right? I just heard him talking with your husband's father just a second ago behind me. He said that after the wedding, he'd be allowing your dad to get a little bonus from his contracting group. And then they both thanked one another like it was some kind of a business deal. That means my dad was hiding all of this from me for himself. He forced me to marry this guy all so he could get a bonus? You really had no idea what you were getting into then. I understand that you want to blame your dad for all this, but... Isn't it also your fault for getting way too excited about something you didn't fully understand yet? I didn't do anything wrong, though. And I do not want to be married to some low-level son of some low-level contracting company. I have always been the best-looking woman around compared to everyone else. So the only man I should be getting married to are those on my level with lots of money and good looks. I cannot be married to some loser who's below me and doesn't have the money that I need. I'm sorry, but you'll never be chosen by anyone who's the son of a large company CEO. After all, you're not my type at all. Huh? Who is this? Who the hell is talking to me right now? A little while back, you and I had met for a little bit, but I don't think you remember me. 
This is the man that is currently dating Clara. Aha! Uh -huh, you're that poor soul that's going out with that mutt Clara. I'm sorry, but I don't have the time to chat with someone like you. So can you shut up for me and hand the phone back to that hag? I'm not just some random person to what's going on right now, and so I think I'll stay. Actually, I'm the son of the CEO of Green Homes. Huh? Y you're the son? The son of the CEO of Green Homes? The, the poor loser that I saw a while back that's dating Clara is... Yeah, I may be pretty plain, but I am his son. Yet somehow, over the past few weeks, it seemed as though there was some confusion and you thought you'd be getting married to me. Yet somehow, over the past few weeks, it seemed as though there was some confusion and you thought you'd be getting married to me. When I first heard about that from Claire, I was shocked. Huh? Wait, wait just one minute. There's no freaking way you're the son of Greenholm CEO. There, there's just no way that Clara could ever get a man like that to date her. And, and just a while back, she told me that the boyfriend was just some simple office worker. That's right, and I'm just some simple office worker. I'm working in my dad's company right now, but I don't use the excuse of being his son to get any special treatments. So, at the moment, I'm just some simple employee working for a super big company. And actually, to be honest, I've been keeping all of that a secret from Clara as well. Excuse me? But after hearing that you thought you'd be marrying me, I had to come clean with her and tell her that I'm the son of Green Home CEO. But at least this was all in good timing, so thank you. <laughs> no, the two of us are going to get out of here. Clara just told me that she got to see the best part of the wedding already, and it's time to go home. And I only came to pick her up and leave. Huh? W wait a second, please. The two of you are leaving now? Please, continue to enjoy this rather expensive-looking wedding. Whether he's the son of a large company or a similar contracted company, he's still the son of a CEO. So congratulations on marrying him. You give your boyfriend to me right now! I'm going to be the one getting married to him now! You only just got married yesterday, so what are you going on about? You already have yourself your dream husband now, right? That whole wedding, I cancelled it. I'd never get married to a man that's beneath me. My dad was crying for me to stop doing all of that, but I cancelled the wedding anyway and ran from there. Really? You ended up cancelling that whole wedding after I'd left? So that's why I'm telling you to give me your boyfriend right now. If you're planning to tell me no, then I'll have to come there and steal him from you again. You can either be quiet and hand him over, or I'll come and take him from your crying hands. Now, choose which one you'd like to do. I'm not choosing either, actually. I'm not ever giving him to you, and he doesn't even want to be with you in the first place. And after we got back from your wedding yesterday, he ended up proposing to me. Just because he proposed to you doesn't mean that he won't still come to me. <laughs> you may have forgotten this already, but I've stolen all of your other boyfriends in the past, so he'll be no different. <laughs> so no matter how much you love your man and he loves you, I'll make him mine. <laughs> I've had experience winning tons of men over to me, so I'll be able to get him without even breaking a sweat. <laughs> I wonder about that. You only ended up taking two of my boyfriends away from me in the past. The other men that you took from me back then were just guys that I was in an open relationship with. Huh? What do you mean by open relationship? You always seemed so proud of yourself for stealing them from me, so I didn't want to say anything to you. But there was this huge rumor back in school about how any guy that started to date me would no doubt end up dating you soon after. Sort of like a thing where those guys had to date me first if they wanted a chance of being with you kind of thing. Anyway. All of those guys were in an open relationship with me, meaning I was totally fine with them going out with another woman, and usually when they did that, I'd let them go. And I was totally fine with it because they all really only wanted to be with me up until you came to take them off my hands. Excuse me? In middle school, that first guy I dated, I really was into and liked a lot. But after you took him from me, followed by also taking the next man I dated from me, I was left wondering if it was even worth it for me to date anyone else. But then that rumor started and so I began to get all sorts of guys asking me out and wanting to date me in hopes of one day being taken by you. Really, you could say that I was the one that helped you get all those boyfriends. <laughs> so, what you're saying is that 
Most of those guys back then didn't even date you over anything serious. They were pretty much just with you to get me to notice them. I mean, I had fun hanging out with them and going on dates, but it never had anything to do with romance. Actually, I charged a few of them to date me. Around a hundred per guy. <laughs> you got a hundred dollars for every guy that was with you? I said it as a joke at first, but then guys would actually hand the money to me while asking me out. So, because of you being such a petty loser, I was able to make over a thousand dollars. So that money I gave you to get into your wedding was pretty much that money I made off those guys back then. <laughs> like I said, I made over a grand, so it was more than enough to pay my way into your wedding. Th that's... Uh, wait a second. So you're saying all those guys I stole from you wasn't due to me being sexy or anything like that? I did all of that with the intention of making you feel bad. Yet you didn't feel bad at all. Instead, you were making money off what I'd done. That's right. I didn't really take any damage from you. If anything, you were like my part-time job. <laughs> Wh what? All those guys only wanted to go out with, with the intention of you coming to steal them. So of course they went into your arms so easily back then. But now, the man I'm with is not like all those school boys. He loves me from the bottom of his heart. And I will never think about letting you have him. I'm sorry, but I don't think you'll be able to take him from me like all those other guys back then. Sh shut the hell up! So you lied to me all this time, then? I can't believe that I was deceived by some ugly mutt all these years. I'm not going to be forgiving you for any of that. I can understand why you're mad at me right now, but you don't have the right to be blaming me for any of that. It actually hurt a lot the first time you stole my boyfriend from me. And when you stole my second boyfriend from me, that hurt even worse than the first. And now I'll never be able to forget the pain and sadness I had from when those two events happened to me. Sh shut up already! Of course I had to steal those guys from you because there was no way I'd let some gross chick like you have boyfriends before me! Yet you used that to play me like a fiddle in the end. You are the worst friend ever. Well, to you, maybe I'm a pretty bad friend. But since we both hate each other a whole lot now, we should give up on using that term, friend. So I'd like to recommend that we end things between us here. Huh? From now on, don't you ever send me any messages or anything ever again, okay? So now let's you and I go our separate ways and enjoy our lives. Bailey, have a good one. After that, according to things I'd overheard, it seems that Bailey was left having to pay for the whole wedding that she'd canceled. But she continued to say that she shouldn't have to pay for it, rather her dad should. And after trying to use that excuse so many times, she was kicked out of the house by her dad. Of course, this all caused the talks of her dad getting that bonus to go down the drain. And so he was furious with his daughter for what she'd done. This led to him pretty much disowning her, and she was on her own. But that wasn't enough to knock her down completely, and she told her dad that she'd go find her dream man on her own. Saying that she was beautiful, and it would be easy to get any man to marry her. And with that confidence in her, she went to all kinds of speed dating parties and stuff, but she never came out with anyone. And I guess from all those fake men that she had supposedly stolen from me throughout high school, she had had no real dating experience with anyone. And because of that, she doesn't actually know how to pick up men of our age now that we're all adults. <laughs> I think it's due to all that that any guy she does get to talk to her immediately turns around and tells her that although she is pretty, she does not have the attitude of an adult woman. So now, Bailey's been left with very few men that are willing to be around her.